so so this is um we're gonna block in here now the muscle of the abdomen and uh, and uh, actually the torso right the whole torso so start with the um linea alba that goes from the bottom of the sternum all the way down to the top of the pubic bone which is the genital right that's the pub the the uh, sternum and the linea alba will go down like this right connecting connecting these two landmarks halfway oh, halfway about here right up this level here I'm gonna find uh, the navel along the linea alba um, linea alba is a soft landmarks right um, now we're gonna block in the rectus abdominis the abs right it, the the abs start at the at the fifth rib uh, sixth and seventh so if this is the end of the sternum here, the, the, uh, we find the last uh, true rib, which is the seventh. So the seventh is here, sixth is gonna be here, but more or less, fifth is gonna be about here. So now what I do, is you take this width of the rib cage, right? And then divide it in half. This is where the origin of the rectus abdominis is. So the rectus abdominis originate at the fifth, sixth, seventh. From here, we're gonna go down like this to the pubic bone here. And here like this, right? I'm gonna draw this very, um, very simple, right? Very simple volumes. And I'm gonna take off some of the skeleton. So we're gonna see now this layer of the rectus abdominis over, over the skeleton. Um, so then I divide this in three uh, from the navel up in three equal segments, one, oh, three segments, not necessarily equal, but yeah, three segments, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's a six pack, right? And here also one, two, three, and you see how the last segment of the rectus abdominis bridges the, um, um, is going over the costal arch, right? So, um, so now we have a six pack plus one, so it would be an eight pack, but this portion here is also very often divided in another segment. So we, you know, um, in reality, we have a 10 pack, but what is above the navel is a six pack. Now from here, right, I'm blocking down here the, um, let, uh, the external oblique down like this. I start from the fifth and it goes down to the back, to the, all the way down to the 12 rib uh, and basically hugs the rib cage on this side like this. And um, when um, we get down to here, to the profile of the rib cage, I'm going to draw uh, the uh, th the thickness, right, of the um, external oblique and uh, coating the rib cage. And then when I run out of the rib cage, I go jump to the iliac crest. So this is the pattern, right, of the external oblique. Now here, this portion here, I'm going to, because of the tilt, right, the pelvis, I'm going to have the uh, compression here and a sharp angle. But this part in here where uh, the, uh, the two, the, the rib cage and the pelvis come, become more distant com in comparison with this one where the two come closer, I have a pinching in here and I have a stretching in here of the external oblique, right? Therefore, this angle here is more pronounced this angle here is um, s uh, smoother. So fifth, down like this, right? And then I'm going to leave a little bit of space between the external oblique and the rectus abdominis, like this, right? And this is going to be, this line here is called semi-lunar line, right? So now, <clears throat> let's block in the pectoralis. Pectoralis start from, take the width of the clavicle uh, acromion, divided in half, more or less, and then lower margin of the clavicle, down like this, all the way to the sternum, go along the lateral margin of the sternum, down to the fifth, sixth. So there's gonna be some overlapping with the rectus abdominis. And you have a C, see that you have this C. Now, from here, um, this is the origin. Now we go to the insertion. The insertion is on this side, of the humerus, here and here, right? This is the insertion on the humerus. Now we do this, take the lower point of uh, origin and go to the high point of insertion. 
take now the high point of orange, go to the low point of insertion. Now we have a twisting of the muscle because the pectoralis twists on itself. Um, then you take this upper segment, right, to it goes to the corner here of the um, at the manubrium, right, at the end of the clavicle here. That is the clavicular portion or the pectoralis. Here I have the sternocostal portion and here the abdominal portion. So the pectoralis is divided in three big um, separate uh, fascicles. One above the level of honor insertion, one the same level, one, one way below. Right? And now we subdivide it, subdivide it like this. And now we have the pectoralis. Right? When you do the pectoralis here, you want to have overlapping of these uh, grouped fibers like this, right? Where this overlaps that, that overlaps that, etc., etc. So, so that's a pectoralis, more or less. And here, actually, I'm block, gonna block it here. I'm gonna block in the serratus. The serratus is on the lateral portion of the um, rib cage here. And uh, um, we draw it as a um, just one flat muscle, which is not, but it makes it easier to then subdivide this volume here in its digitation. Start from the fifth. This is the fifth digitation, right? Because this at the at the fifth ribs, meaning where the rectus abdominis and the external oblique begin. And I draw the digitation like this: one, two, three, and then so five, six, seven, eight, nine. We had two more in the back, right? And this goes up like this. We want to create, see that, a radiating pattern like this. See that? We have about nine digitation. And then, uh, so here, I'm going to see the serratus here like this, right? On top of the serratus, I have the latissimus, the lats, like this. I'm going to block in the neck now. Start with the sternocleidomastoid, sternocleido, sternum and clavicle, to the mastoid process, which is behind the ear, and uh, below, be, behind, below the ear, behind the jaw, here. Flat portion, the, the, the fusiform portion, flat portion. Then we have the uh, scaling group, and then we have the trapezius, right? So we have, look, one, two, three, four, this radiating pattern, right? This, this muscle that wrap around the neck, right? Um, deltoid from here. So the deltoid basically occupies more or less the lateral half, or a little bit less than that, of the lower margin of the clavicle and acromion. And from here it goes down to the middle of the length of the, uh, of the humerus, right? So then I have the, the tricep, I have the bicep, sorry. I have the bicep here, right? And then brachialis, like this. I'm gonna make it, this muscle a little bit smaller, right? Tricep. and brachialis, and extensors, or hands and fingers. Um, 